Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to Morals and Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali. And now we are to talk about visiting the sick. Every human wants to feel wanted and loved, and during illness, this feeling is increased. When an individual is ill, they are prone to feeling depressed and even hopeless at the same time. As Muslims, it is our duty to visit the sick and to be by their side, illustrating the empathy that Muslims are required to feel for each other. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny said, the parable of the believers and their mutual love and mercy is like that of a living body. If one part feels pain, the whole body suffers in sleeplessness and fever. To visit the sick is a clear sign of mutual love, mercy and empathy. Not only that visiting the sick is a major responsibility that every Muslim must fulfill, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his progeny said, the rights of one Muslim over another Muslim are six. When you meet him, you greet him with the salam, that is to say, assalamu alaikum. When he invites you, you accept his invitation. When he consults you in a matter, you give him sincere advice. When he sneezes and praises God, you ask God to have mercy on him. When he is sick, you visit him. And when he passes away, you accompany him through his funeral. Through narrations and through the actions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny, and the Imams, peace be upon them, we learn that visiting the sick is essential and there is a great reward for those to do. Our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny, also said, Whoever visits a sick person for the pleasure of Allah, a caller from the skies announces, You are indeed blessed and your walking is blessed, and you have, by this noble act, built yourself a home in Jannah. The reason behind us visiting the sick is to reflect on our lives and to be grateful for our health. We should also take notice that the sick tend to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is because they have no one to call but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and nothing to reflect on but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The great reward awaiting those who visit the sick was demonstrated by the Prophet when he, peace be upon him and his progeny, explained. A Muslim visiting his sick brother will continue to be in the harvest of paradise until he or she returns home. The Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, also said, a visitor walking to visit a sick person will be weighed in with the mercy of God. When he, the visitor sits with the sick one, they will be immersed in mercy until his or her return. The Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, personally made time to visit the sick. For example, while in Mecca, a pagan woman was given to throw filth and garbage upon the Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, whenever he passed her home. One day, the noticeable absence of the Prophet's abuser concerned him so much that he inquired after her. When he learnt of her sickness, he visited her. She was so taken back by this merciful concern so that she embraced Islam. From the stories and examples mentioned, we find that the act of visiting the sick, as exemplified by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, is greatly important and has numerous rewards. With this said, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us on his path and give us the courage to visit the sick. Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, we reach the end of our show for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time, His Majesty Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.